This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. My next guest, a complete mystery to me, but luckily my producers have given me and few of you a few hints. Our mystery guest began his career as the manager at the Oakroom. All right, his company just opened three restaurants in a new resort in Atlantic City. He has also formed partnerships with top chefs, including Mark Forgione and Alan Allegretti. Let's meet our mystery guest. Welcome to Taking Stock. Come on in, don't worry. I won't make you cook anything now. I noticed Alan Allegretti. Hi. Nice to have John, you. Very nice to meet All you. All right. Now, um, I'm listening to uh, the details of a little bit of your background. Alan okay. Allegretti, famous chef, Azure by Allegretti. Is that one of are you in the restaurant business, I guess? I'm in the restaurant business. You're in the restaurant business. I am. Okay. And um, you own this restaurant with Alan Allegretti? We, my company is LDV Hospitality. No, don't tell me yet. Oh, don't I'm tell sorry. me. I'm going to guess asking, who we, you are. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Yes, correct. We own this restaurant with Alan Allegretti. All right. Now, this is uh, Azure. Azor by Allegretti. Azor by Allegretti. All right. Correct. And it said that you're opening. You've opened three restaurants We've opened a in few other Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. American Cut with Mark Forjone. All right. As well as Lugo Cafe. All right, Lugo Cafe. I'm, I got to think also. You've got something. I'm, I'm sensing here. You've got something in in Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan, That's right? Correct. There's two restaurants, two in restaurants the Cosmopolitan. there. Yeah. Scarpetta. And Scarpetta. And DOCG. And DOCG Inoteca. Correct. Right? And Correct. Um, now, I'm, I don't know exactly who you are. I've got a couple of 30 seconds here. There's a group, a, 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 an investment group, that I remember reading about called First Course Private Equity. These are guys who did Smith & Wolensky okay. originally. Are you associated with them at all? Not at all. Not at all. No. Um, but you've got your own restaurant group. Correct. I'm thinking now. Um, well, you've got a good pocket square, so you Thanks. must be important. Um, I don't know if that makes you important. I don't know. That's pretty I like good. You got a lot of restaurants. Thank you. Um, you, uh, you mentioned. I got to say, you mentioned LDB, so that's Correct. a little bit of a hint. Okay. You're um, uh, Meadow. Yes. You're John Meadow. Yes. Yeah. See, yes. I knew that. I'm impressed. Congratulations. Nice you. Great to have you Thank with you. us here on Taking Stock. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, so, how'd you get into the restaurant business? It's something that I always wanted to do. Really? I, uh, I went to the Cornell Hotel School. Okay, and hospitality. That, hospitality. Right? And truthfully, I always dreamed of doing a hotel, but of course, it's a lot easier and practical perhaps to open a restaurant. My first job was at the Plaza Hotel. Okay. And then the Oak Room, right? I mean, the Oak Room, that's right. There. And that was a very tough, eye opening uh, life experience. And then thereafter, we opened our first place, uh, Local West, over by Madison Square Garden. And then That's where uh, isn't that where Azur uh, Azur? No, no, uh, Azur is in Atlantic City. At Rebel, what's the what's the? the you've got something over at Penn Plaza, I believe. We have three places by right. Penn Plaza: Local West, right? Lugo Cafe, Lugo Cafe, and Lucy's. Lucy's a Mexican bar. Got it. And then Lugo, we just opened in Atlantic City at the Revel Resort, in addition to American Cut with Mark Forjone and Azor with Alan Allegretti. Got it. What, what's the, what's one of the biggest trends right now in in restaurants? I mean, what kind of food? What kind of atmosphere do people want? Every market is different. Um, New York City, clearly, we've seen this going back to the good old days of yesteryear and the old kind of lure of New York City that you see in the West Village, and that's been a very exciting uh, trend that, frankly, we have not participated so much in. Um, our most recent opening in New York City was La Promenade des Anglais, also with uh, Chef Alain Allegretti in 23rd and 10th. Um, that's in the London Terrace uh, apartment house, right? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what has changed in terms of the kind of food that people are demanding? They want lighter the fare? Or? The consumer is truly sophisticated and smart. Now, you see this whole revolution of an intrigue of chefs by virtue of the Food Network. And the farm-to-table craze, of course, is popular. But the reality is there's such a broad span of talented chefs that now truly have a theater to, to really put their creativity and passion on display. And the consumer is able to consume that whatever they like. I'm, so I'm, glad, I'm glad you mentioned theater. I mean, is the, theater is a big part of it, right? That's what it's all about. We don't go out to eat just for substance. It's all about the What are you going to have for experience. dinner tonight? What am I having? I'm, I'm eating at home, my wife. Oh, who at unfortunately, home. is a vegan, well so I'm going to have quinoa. I want to thank you very much. John Meadow, thank thanks. Thanks for taking thank you very stock. Much. Good night.